Hello and welcome to my playlist of molecular biology explained in 3 minutes where I explain a concept of molecular biology in less than 3 minutes or so if you haven't yet subscribed the channel hit that subscribe button today we'll talk about random amplification of polymorphic DNA or otherwise known as RAPD sometimes it's also pronounced as rapid so this is a PCR based technique and here is a quick highlights for RAPD it's a PCR based technique and for RAPD, several arbitrary short primers, which are ranging from 8 to 12 nucleotides are used and no prior knowledge of a DNA sequence is required to perform this technique. Now in this video, we'll talk about the principle, the applications and the limitations of this particular technique. So as we have mentioned earlier that RAPD is a polymerase chain reaction based technique. But it is slightly different from the PCR because the segments that are amplified are kind of random. So here is a normal PCR. We use a specific primer to amplify a specific portion of the DNA. But in case of RAPD, things are different. The amplification is random and several different length of products are generated. Now let us try to understand this thing in a bit more details. So here is the PCR machine and we are performing a RAPD reaction. As the temperature rises to 95 degrees centigrade, there would be denaturation of the strands. And here are our RAPD primers, which are annealed at 55 degrees centigrade, let's say. Now these primers, which are situated close enough, they would result in amplification. Now the primers which are situated far apart roughly greater than 2 kilobase pairs then there would be no amplification. So different lengths of uh, PCR product would be generated eventually. Let's try to contextualize this aspect. So let's say we have a crime scene and RAPD is a robust method which can be used to differentiate between genetically distinct individuals. So this DNA is obtained from a crime scene and we have two prime suspects. So what we are going to do, we are going to perform RAPD from these DNA sequence. Next, we are going to isolate DNA from sub suspect 1 and suspect 2 and perform RAPD from their DNA as well. Now we are going to compare their RAPD profiles. Now in this particular example, the RAPD profile obtained from crime scene DNA matches with the DNA RAPD result from suspect 2. That means possibly suspect 2 is the convict. So this is a very uh, general example how RAPD could be used but these kind of methods are not really used these days. Now there are several applications of RAPD like in forensic sciences just we have mentioned about it. It could be used in gene mapping, crop variety identification, or even in microbial genetics. But these days, RAPD is not that much used. Why is so? There are several advantages of RAPD. Like we don't need to have any prior information about DNA sequences. It can really analyze genetic diversity of an individual with a set of random primers. It can be done with very low amount of DNA as well. But despite of these advantages, there are lots and lots of disadvantage. Very low reproducibility. Nearly all the RAPD markers are dominant. So it is impossible to determine heterozygous versus homozygous. And lastly, mismatch between primers and the templates can result in a total absence of PCR product as well as some kind of decreased amount of product. So the results could be sometimes really confusing and hard to interpret. Due to all of these reasons, RAPD is not a great technique to do all of these uh, biological uh, classification work. Now, in this particular era of high throughput sequencing, RAPD and its application, it's kind of questionable. But anyway, in 1990, RAPD was the technique. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can watch all my playlists in my channel it would be highly beneficial for you you can follow me in instagram or in facebook and see you in the next video do let me know in the comment whether it was useful or not if you have a suggestion do let me know in the comment thank you